Today we're making sauerkraut. Start off by cutting the cabbage in half and removing the cores. Place the cores into a blender with cold water and blend for 30 seconds. Shred the cabbage by hand or you can use a food processor to speed things up. Wash and drain the shredded cabbage and don't forget about the little pieces that slide through your fingers. Now let's measure the cabbage weight. Multiply that weight by 2.5%. This number is our first addition of salt. Once the salt is combined, mix and massage the cabbage for three minutes and let rest. After 10 minutes, come back and the cabbage should be swimming in its own juices. Next, add the cabbage core liquid to the shredded cabbage. Take that weight and multiply that by 2.5. This is going to be our second and last addition of salt. Add in the salt and mix well. Take both weights and multiply them by 0.5%. This number will become the amount of caraway seeds we add. You can leave them whole, but I like to grind them up so it's easier for digestion. Mix well and let's move on to packing. Place the cabbage into a glass jar and pack down to leave four inches of headspace. Next, use a plastic bag or glass weights to ensure the cabbage is fully submerged. I prefer glass weights, but they can be a little pricey, so a water bag is a more affordable alternative. Slightly cover the cabbage weights with brine, screw on the top and fill the bubbler with water. This device ensures that we create an anaerobic environment. Basically, we want the gases that produce inside to push out any oxygen through the bubbler, maintaining a zero oxygen environment. Slap on a label and place in the room with a temperature of 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, make sure the kraut is not in direct sunlight. The top of my fridge works great, but the next spot I would pick is the kitchen cabinet. After 7 to 12 days, I'll use a pH meter or pH tape to verify the acid level is below 4.6. pH tape is the most cost-effective tool that gives a very accurate reading. Just dip the strip into brine and match with the color chart. As for this pH meter, I place the tip into the brine and in about two minutes, I'll get a result. If the pH isn't at 4.6 or lower, just check back in three days to retest. When ready, place the sauerkraut into the fridge and enjoy for months to come if you can let it last that long. You can get the full recipe in the descriptions and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much to all the patrons who help support this channel. I'll see you guys next time.